Ever wonder how long it takes to mow an acre? Well, in this video, you'll find out. We have calculated out an exact one acre lot to see how long it takes to mow an acre with a residential zero turn. Subscribe to the Tractor Bob YouTube channel for more content like this, and let's get started. All right, guys, so for this test, we're gonna use the ZT Avenger. Now, there's a couple things that I really like about this mower. Uh, the first is gonna be the price. So this is just like a high-end, residential grade zero turn. But the cool thing about this mower is it's got this nice uh, seven gauge steel fabricated deck. It comes in multiple cut sizes, but today we're gonna be cutting with the 60 inch. It's got anti-scalp wheels on it. I like the heavy duty rubber chute, which isn't always what you get on mowers at this price range. Nice rubber floor mats on here. Floorboard flips up and you can access the spindles and everything real easy on there. You get the deck dial, which I really like. Uh, we're gonna cut pretty low today, maybe one and a half, two inches, because as you'll see, the grass is already pretty, pretty low, and we wanna just take a little bit off. Um, I like the storage. You know, you can, you can hold about six or seven gallons of gas, I think. I'll put the exact amount in the screen right here. But I really like the extra wide 12 inch tires because there's no actual suspension on this mower, but those 12 inch wide tires are gonna give me a much smoother ride than if I had smaller tires, obviously. The seat, I like that it has a hard back and it's got this breezeway in the back here to give you a little bit more comfort, not get so hot. Again, access to everything super easy on this ZT Avenger. You get a commercial, entry level commercial engine entry level commercial transaxles so this is the zt avenger so as you can see it's not the prettiest lawn in the world by any means uh, but it's already cut down some of this is cut down looks like at about three inches or something and then this was cut down at five inches for this test it's going to be about how fast can we do it with a residential mower uh, and instead of driving around in circles like i did last time i'm going to take the long way so I'm gonna go back and forth uh, across the long distance. And so that means less time turning around. Uh, so hopefully that'll be the fastest option.
right, we're gonna stop right there for a minute and recharge the drone batteries. We actually have an extra battery, so we'll just pop a new battery in there. Initially, I thought, okay, you know, we're just cutting it down a little bit. There's not gonna be that much buildup of grass to go through. But as you can see, this stuff is just all over the place. It's all over the lawn. It would take maintaining this at this height for quite a while to get all this crud to go away or we're obviously bagging it of course but other than bogging down just slightly this bad boy mower the zt avenger has done a really great job uh, i can i can hear that engine working it's got a briggs and stratton which might not be some of you guys' favorites but you know hey it works for plenty of people so i like that engine um, but yeah, so far so good. And while he gets that battery and the new battery in the drone, uh, I'm gonna sit back down and uh, we'll get right back to it. so I'm not sure exactly how much time that took. We'll put it up on the screen. But there you have it. Mowed one acre or thereabouts with the ZT Avenger by Bad Boy. And while it's nowhere near as good as the Altos, which is a $20,000 machine, this residential mower gets it. With the seven gauge deck, It's I like how spacious it is. You know, it's just, a breeze so that's it so it took about 28 minutes and 30 seconds to mow this one acre lot surprisingly to me it actually took longer than when i mowed with the altos which took about 24 and a half minutes i thought the combination of taller grass mixed with a spiral cutting pattern would make the altos take longer to complete the acre but i guess that higher price tag does make a pretty big difference if you want to watch that video it'll be linked down below however i'm still super happy with how the zt avenger performed in this test if we had bagged the grass prior to filming i imagine we could have gotten that time down by a couple more minutes but let me know what you think in the comments below i'm thinking for now this will be my last video i make on how long it takes to mow an acre because quite frankly the end of summer is coming up and it's also getting pretty dry but if you want to see more of these with different types of mowers please leave a comment below and let me know you like this style of video and i will schedule some more videos like this in the future thank you so much for watching this video on how long it takes to mow an acre if you enjoyed it give us a big thumbs up that really helps us out a lot hit that subscribe button to see more content like this and tap the bell icon to stay notified. Have a great day.